Ah, you see, this is just one of the reasons why I became a journalist. I've always been totally useless when it comes to sports. Maybe I should be consulting with Mkuseli Holose. He is a talented golfer who is preparing to represent South Africa at an international tournament in Japan later this year. But Mkuseli had to overcome serious challenges to be where he is today. It's an early start for East London resident Mkuseli Holose. He makes sure his home chores are done before walking kilometers to the Kaya Mouth Country Club. Rain or shine, Mkuseli has to make the long trek. And today's wet weather doesn't dampen the 32-year-old's determination to practice his winning swing at the local golf course. I started playing golf in the early age, in the early age of 10 years as a kid. So from there, I just keep going and playing golf. I, and then I also like too much golf because I, sometimes I like to watch from the television and practice at my home. Mkuseli had to start at the very bottom as a caddy in order to pursue his passion for the sport. He humbly worked as a gardener for extra cash, where his boss saw something different in him. He was just an just a, an assuming young guy that needed work. He worked as my gardener and is the only gardener that I can remember ever having discussions about sport um, with me from time to time. Now, juggling two jobs, Mkuseli worked tirelessly, each day getting closer to his dream of becoming a professional golfer. A lot of our youngsters that come from the township and the surrounding rural areas become caddies. It's a little part-time job that they can do something, earn a bit of money, so they come across and they caddy. I wouldn't say he stood out amongst other caddies. In fact, there were some other caddies that were actually better golfers than him, but he just persisted and carried on with it. But just as things looked promising for the young golfer, his life took a devastating turn. Mkuseli contracted a life-threatening strain of TB, which robbed him of one of his critical senses, hearing. It's not such easy, because as far as you know, you immediately lose hearing, and then you've got enough chances in your life. And then, but uh, I cannot give up, you know. That is why I left to play golf. Struggling to communicate, Mkuseli refused to let this disability get him down. He was now more determined than ever to get himself back into the game. Never wanting to see himself as a victim, he learned to lip read, while still training vigorously to improve his golf skills. And his positive attitude paid off. In early 2012, Mkuseli leapt to fourth position at the South African Deaf Golf Championship in KwaZulu-Natal. With such an impressive ranking, he now qualifies to represent his country at the World Deaf Golf Championships in Japan later this year. An achievement that puts him on the path to global stardom. I hope I'm 100% prepared to play there, according to my feeling. And I, like, I'm playing well sometime through the weekend, and then hopefully I can be a good player. I don't think he's got any disabilities on the golf course. He's a great ambassador for Carmouth, for our little country club. Um, we've had people who've taught him the rules of golf, taught him how to place his ball. He actually, when he played in Selborne, we got a report back saying that this guy was outstanding. 
I've got all my faith in this young guy. Um, I, I think I personally think he's going to do very well. I think he's he's got something that um, I see in a sportsman, um, and I do think he's going to achieve. Um, even if he just achieves in in his disabled golf, um, to me the biggest achievement is um, for that young guy from a village in in Kaimouth in little old South Africa, little Eastern Cape, for him to be exposed to courses. Can you imagine that guy getting off the plane in Japan? There you have it. Thanks for watching. Join us again next week as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers.